guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing with you my top essentials for camping. Let's get started. Okay, now really quickly, one kind of caveat enter. This video isn't going to include stuff that is obvious to pretty much anyone, like tents, things like that. Also, this video is going to focus on car camping, mainly with families. I go camping with my young children, my husband. I usually have my dad and one of my sisters in tow at least. So if you're like looking for like backpacking, single people type stuff, this is not the video for you. But if you're a mom, uh, going out camping for the first time, which a lot of people are, um, these are things that will make your life a lot less stressful. So just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what this video is going to contain at the very beginning. The first essential is definitely lighting. It is dark in the woods. It will be dark even in the kind of campgrounds where, you know, you reserve a spot and they've got showers and toilets and all the kind of more glamping options. It's going to be really dark at night especially if it's a new moon, you're gonna need lighting. So definitely pick up at least a couple of different forms of lighting. We usually bring at least one lantern. My father-in-law picked these up for us a few years ago at Walmart. Uh, they've got several different lighting options. I don't know what, what you would use the flashing one for, especially if you had epilepsy, but hey. Um, it folds up pretty compactly like that. It's about the size of my hand, so pretty small. I usually bring at least one lantern. I will bring a headlamp, which I cannot recommend enough, especially for late night trips to the bathroom or rooting around outside, you're gonna want a headlamp. The other lighting option I like to bring is just a tiny light for the tent at night when we're kind of getting settled down. I picked this one up at the Dollar Tree. It's an LED light. It does require you to purchase batteries. It doesn't come with them, um, but it's just really tiny. You just press that little top button and it turns on and there's a little hook. You can see a picture of it right here. It's a little hook. You can hang it in the center of your tent or even kind of move it about. So again, lighting is definitely something you want to think about because it's going to be dark. The next camping essential that I have is foaming hand soap, specifically foaming hand soap. Uh, when you're at a campsite, water, if you are not in an RV and you're doing tent camping, water can be kind of, not necessarily hard to come by, but a little bit inconvenient to come by. There just isn't as much water as if you would be at home. So definitely, I always bring foaming hand wash because it requires so much less water than the, like the standard gel kind. You pump it in your hand and it kind of pre, like it wets your hand for you so you can wash uh, your hands initially and then rinse with the water. It saves water, which is great, and it just makes washing your hands a little bit easier. And if you're in the woods, especially if you have kids, you guys are gonna be washing hands a lot. The next essential that I have is kind of an essential, like whenever you're traveling, no matter where you're going, and that's a box of tissues. Um, if you are traveling in, in an RV, again, it's kind of not a big deal because you could always use toilet paper, but even like when my mom came camping with us, she brought her little RV and she had tissues galore. You definitely wanna have tissues. They come in handy, obviously, for blowing your nose, which if you're in the woods and you have allergies, you might be doing a lot, uh, but also just for like quick little spills or quick uh, face wiping, what have you. I also bring baby wipes, a definite must have if you have children, and it also helps with the lack of water as well. So definitely you wanna pick up some a box of tissue or even like the little travel packs that they sell at Target for like a buck and definitely pick up some baby wipes. The next travel essential is definitely picking up reusable little mini containers. These things come in handy for so much. Obviously you can use them for like salt and pepper and various spices. If you wanted to, you could use them to keep like little travel toiletries, things like that. Uh, they just come in handy. They're really good to have around for kitchen items, for toiletry items. But even like keeping track of like uh, your jewelry, if you are, you know, like I wear my wedding ring when we go camping, but there are certain situations when I want to take it off. 
I would pop my ring in here or even like my watch will fit in here nicely. So essentially these are kind of good to have around no matter what. They serve a variety of different needs and they're just good to have around. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a definite must, but they have been used a lot. So they are not like squeaky clean pretty. And that is um, heat proof gloves for the grill. Most places where you reserve a campsite have a grill with a ring around it and you might have to touch some pretty hot stuff. You're gonna to wanna to have something that's going to protect your hands. These come in such handy, especially if you're adjusting like the height of the grill you might have to do, or even removing like a hot pan, you definitely wanna have something like this to protect your hands. And along with that, you want a cheap pair of tongs. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I use them on every camping trip that we've taken, and we've taken a couple. Uh, since I purchased them, these come in handy for obviously flipping stuff, you can stir, you can kind of move things around the grill a little bit or lift, like if you're making campfire pizza, you can kind of lift the crust. They are just kind of like a really great multi-tool to have around, and because they were a buck, you can't beat the price, and one of the things that's great about the Dollar Tree's tongs is that they are insanely long, they're over a foot long, which is really nice. The next items you wanna have, basically for staying kind of organized, you're gonna to wanna to pick up some clips and hooks for yourself. Now, we use these for a variety of different reasons. We use these to clip our tablecloths to the picnic table to kind of keep our camping stuff uh, a little bit neater and to keep the tablecloth obviously from blowing around. We use these to clip the trash uh, bags into our trash can. And I'm gonna show you one in just a second. Uh, just to keep it from blowing out or like fluttering or even falling if things get too heavy. You can use these to keep um, like to keep uh, tent flaps open for whatever reason if you don't have the little hook and thingies. They just come in handy. They're really great. You can use them to dry like swimming clothes if you were playing in the river. Uh, it's always good to have really any type of clip. Uh, these ones I got at the Dollar Tree, they come in a, um, like a six pack. So I bought a couple come in handy but you could use clothes pins you could use really large chip clips or even those really large like paper clips you could easily use those you want some sort of clip with you to kind of help you along it's almost like an extra pair of hands really and then of course these hooks I got at the Dollar Tree as well they're kind of in their laundry section like where you get like the laundry bags things like that um, I use these when I go to the showers. I have a little plastic caddy um, that I keep my toiletries in and I just hang it on here. And that's you, my Uh-huh, you can hang your towel on here. Not every campground is going to have hooks in their showers. I went to one that had no hooks whatsoever, but with the hook, um, you keep your stuff from getting wet, you keep it off the gross floor, and you're able to just stay a little bit more organized. And you could even use it in camp. You can hang your kids' towels or swimsuits. You could even hang um, like uh, grocery bags, things like that. It's just a great item to have to keep you organized. The next item that I have is a little bit random, but pretty important, especially if you're camping with, um, especially if you're camping with children and that is some sort of card game. We have several, we have Uno, we have Skippo, we just have like the regular standard 52 deck of cards or 52 card deck, I should say. Um, keeps you busy, it's something fun to do, requires no electricity. Um, it's really, really great to get people having conversations around the campfire or the picnic table rather. So I definitely recommend some sort of portable entertainment that does not require any type of batteries and card games are the easiest and really the most fun. You can get a, a lot uh, you can get a lot of bonding time in with a good card game. The next item I have, and this is a brand new one that I purchased at Walmart a couple of days ago for like four bucks, not even, and that is a pop-up mesh hamper. In fact, I'm probably gonna pick up a few more of these. These obviously are great to kind of wrangle your dirty clothes, but more importantly, these are great as trash cans. Most campsites do have a large dumpster that you can take your trash to, but before that, while you're in camp, it's really inconvenient if you don't have a, a trash can and trash bags with you. So this is a really, really nice option. It's tiny, you can see how small it is. You definitely don't wanna bring like a big bulky trash can. You want something that's collapsible. They do make collapsible items that are specifically for, uh, to serve the purpose of a trash can. Uh, but they're much more expensive and these are pretty much identical and you just put your trash bag in as usual 
Again, you use your clips to secure it and maybe like a large rock or piece of wood or whatever to put it on the bottom to keep it from blowing away. And this will serve you well as you're going through camp because you're gonna be throwing a lot of stuff away. We tend to use a lot more disposable items when we're camping, paper plates, things like that, disposable napkins. Um, so you definitely wanna have stuff around the kids' juice pouches. You just toss it in really quickly and you don't have to like, you don't have to struggle to fit it into like a tiny grocery bag or whatever you have a designated spot for it. So these are really great to have. Okay, really quickly, I also forgot to mention kind of a must when it comes to camping, and that's aluminum foil. It's kind of like the MacGyver of your campsite. Um, I recommend the heavy duty, like don't skimp and get the cheap 99 cent one, I wouldn't. Um, but it is so versatile, so important to have. You can use it to make foil packets and cook on. You can line the grill if it's a little grungy or whatever. You can even use it in a pinch to like make makeshift Tupperware. You can store your leftover food and put it in your cooler. So it is definitely something that comes in handy when you're camping. And you're also gonna wanna bring way more blankets than you think you need, um, especially like your heavy, super warm ones that don't require a lot of body heat to heat up, something that's like fleece or something. Um, and I would recommend when you are making your air mattress, you put your fitted sheet and then put a blanket over that that's going to uh, that's going to sit between you and the air mattress itself so much cold is going to come up from that plastic you're going to want to have some sort of really warm layer in between you and the cold hard ground because the mattress is going to be incredibly cold even with that like velvet liner you're going to want to cover it up and sleep on top of a blanket and then have more blankets on top of you even in the summertime, unless you are going to like the Anza Borrego or you're going somewhere where the heat is insanely high in summertime, you're gonna wanna be warm. Uh, we went camping at a place that was easily in the high 90s uh, during the day and then dropped down to the low 40s at night. And without those extra covers, you're gonna freeze. The next thing you're gonna wanna have plenty of is cleaning rags. You will be doing a lot of cleaning, not just of dishes, of course, which you really wouldn't use this for dishes, but you're gonna be trying dishes. You're gonna to wanna to stack dishes. That's why we like to bring a tablecloth and a couple of these, because I can stack dishes on there, and I know that it's from my house, and it's pretty clean, and I don't have to worry about who's touched it beforehand, which um, you just, you never know, you know what I mean? But it's also good for pick, uh, drying up spills, uh, somebody spills in the tent or whatever, you're gonna to wanna to have several cleaning rags to help you along. Now, the last item that I um, think is a camping essential is some sort of basin to do dishes, preferably a collapsible one. I picked this one up at Walmart. Heretofore, I've been using like the bins that you can get, like the wash bins that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And while I do like those, um, they take up a lot of room in my camping bin just because they're so tall. I do fill them with other items, but uh, again, the more space that I can save, the better, because when you go camping, your uh, your truck, your SUV, your minivan, whatever it is you're bringing, is going to be filled to the brim. And having something that's collapsible that gets pretty large is a nice option. So obviously I will be using this to do dishes. You can even fill it up if you need to like sponge the kids off a little bit before bed and you don't feel like trekking them to the shower or maybe you're camping in a spot that doesn't even have a shower, you definitely want some sort of basin uh, to fill water in so you can do some cleaning. This one's from Adventure Ridge. Um, I got this at Walmart and it was like eight fifty something. So it was like under nine bucks, uh, which is a great price. And you can see how tiny it gets. So I'm really looking forward to having this space saver in my camping bin. Anyhow guys, that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care and bye for now.